going into their game against the visiting Saints. Falcons were down 10-7. I said down 10-7 on third and goal from the two, Michael Vick. Now the referee initially rules him out of bounds inside the one. Vick signals to Jim Mora, challenge the play. Now here's the deal. If a runner leaves the field of play by leaping toward the pylon and any part of his body goes over the pylon, by rule, touchdown. The goal line extends. Any part is the key there. In this case, his empty right hand went over the pylon. Touchdown. Second quarter, we're all over Michael Vick again. Lines up as a receiver in the slot instead of under center, but he winds up at the wall. Warwick Dunn pitched it back to him. Hey, flea flicker, Roddy White. Got some help from some defensive backs crashing into each other. 54-yard touchdown of the play. And on the play, it was costly Vic crushed by Tony Bryant. Let's go to the third quarter. Time for the Visa Sky Cam play of the game. Off the play action, bootleg. Vic, 17-yard touchdown. Falcons up 28-17. We're still in the third. We're still 28-17. And the Saints, they're pinned on their own four. Aaron Brooks sacked by Antoine Lake in the end zone. That's a safety. Give him two. Now, the Saints have never, ever, ever won a game when entering the fourth quarter, trailing by more than seven points. Talking about 106 games. Here's Vic in the fourth quarter. Takes the big hit by Ronald McKinnon. As he throws the pass, he would stay in the game. Then, on a short gain up the middle, he was taken down hard. That was two plays later. Vic helped up. Having some issues, he would take himself out of the game. X-rays negative on bruised ribs. Falcons, a winner, 36 to 17. It's the fourth time in Vic's career's rush for two touchdowns in the game. He's 5-0 career in his starts against the Saints. The Falcons are 3-0 on Monday nights for the season. D'Angelo Hall also enjoys playing in front of Alan Johnny at a strip of Joe Horn in this game and interceptions in the previous two Monday night. As for the answer to the question everyone's asking concerning Vic's status for next Sunday night's ESPN showdown in Chicago, well, here it is. Mike has bruised ribs, and uh, he should be okay. You know, he's a trooper. He's a tough kid. There's not a lot that's going to hold that guy back. So I I'm sure he'll be ready to roll, probably practicing Wednesday. I'm always uh, confident. Um, you know, just got to get my treatment. So I didn't want to clock. Got to get up at 8. You know, be in the training room. It's going to be a little tough, but, you know, it's a sacrifice I got to make. You know, I don't mind at all. So, you know, I'm going to work hard to get back, and, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to um, play this Sunday against Chicago. Yeah, hopefully. Looking up at the looking at the up to the second NFC playoff picture, the Seahawks may have started to pull away from the rest of the pack now, leading the race for home field by two games. But four teams remain in the mix for the wild card, wild card including the surging Vikings and the Falcons.